Hi kids, welcome if it's your first time here. Please consider subscribing for more nonsense like this. Um, and if you're back again, nice to see you. As always, drop me a comment, let me know you're here. Tell me what else you'd like to see. Um, today, I'm looking at the Behringer Crave again. So last time I gave a bit of an overview and what I thought of it. Today, I'm just looking at the sequencing because once I've uh, sequenced up a nice little pattern, I will then use it with the Electribe and plug it through that and you can see that, but that might well be the next video because that's quite exciting. So right now, very, very simple overview of the sequencer and how I work it. So when you first turn the machine on and you go to a blank sequence, a blank pattern, um, I, you get this, you are greeted with just one note and of course that note is playing whatever you've got on there, you know, and I'm keeping it very simple today, plain synth, I won't be using any patch leads, of course that's not very interesting. You can't program while you're listening, and that's one thing that bugs me a little bit about it. But it's quite simple to add a little bit more in there. So we can change that first note. You go into the record mode. And then from the record mode, you press shift and select the step that you want. And then you can change the note. I'm going to make it a little bit higher because I think I'll want it in a higher tone when I, I use it with the other kit. Now if you press record off you can just play that pattern. Of course that's a bit dull. So record again, shift I'm going to pick another step and this is where it starts to get a bit more interesting and slightly more strange. So if I pick step 5, you hold the shift down and you press the step that you want. So step 5 and then I'm going to pick that note there. But what it does is it fills in all of the other steps. So if I stop there now and I press play. I don't want them all playing. So what I'm going to do now is fill them in with rests. It's quite easy. Press record again. Shift. Step that you want to put a rest on. You press rest. Shift. Step you want to put a rest on. Press rest. Shift. Step you want to put a rest on. Press rest. Do you know what? I'm going to fill in the middle. No, I'll leave it there. We go. Have a listen. You get a kind of slight echo on it from the gate. It's a bit weird. But I can live with that. Um, other little features that you can get on there. This is one that I quite like is the glide. So I'm going to go back into record. Press shift. I'm going to pick the middle one. So now I'm programming that one and I'm going to go down one octave there and then if I just twist the utility glide and you see that lights up five that means you've now got a glide on that note. So play it. But you won't hear the glide until you press or until you turn the utility glide dial
mellow, nicer sound there, I think. So, I'm going to fill in the other two notes because I want something continuous and then I'll show you how to step it on and make I'm going to finish off with a nine step sequence so here we go shift and then oh my mistake record and shift and two and let's have still on that lower octave so that will do and I'm not going to have that one done. So now I'm just going to go shift straight into four and move up the octave. And then I'm going to go shift six. And I'm going to put glide on that one and then shift seven and I'm going to go up one octave and I'm going to put a glide on that one as well. So let's have a little listen to that before I put the last two steps on there. Okay. the odd number of steps simply because I want to create polyrhythms when I use it with the electron. Right, I'm going to fill in the last two steps and then I'm going to call it a day there because that's quite a simple overview. It would be nice if you could play and edit the patches at the same time but can't have everything. And then so that's a whole of that. What I need to do now is just go to the next page. Next page and shift that note. There we go. Called off. Let's have a listen. Little bit lost in there, but that's a basic overview of how it works. There are other things you can add in there besides the rest and the, and the um, glide. You can also change the um, gate length and the gate time. And you can also change the ever delightful accent. But I'm not really going to use those. I might put them in on another time. That's a very basic overview of how the sequencer works. So if you'll excuse me. I'm going to go off and do other things. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe, like it, turn bells on or whatever that nonsense is. Come back again and I'll see you on the next time. Most of all, have fun kids. Laters.